Today I will not be uploading fun videos, reactions, things that make you laugh because I can't pretend and I can't ignore what happened in our country and I can't pretend that today I'm happy and want to react to fun songs or things like yesterday the United States Capitol. The building in which our country's democracy takes place was in American flags, the red, white, and blue, were taken down and in replace of them, they erected Trump flags and Confederate flags. Just about an hour before this event took place, Trump held a rally by the White House. One of those Save American rallies where he urged the, his supporters there to go and march to the Capitol yesterday. He, he had other speakers, one of which was his lawyer, Rudy Giuliani, who spoke and urged the supporters to march to the Capitol and have a trial by combat. The people listened. Oh yeah, they marched to the Capitol. They marched and they invaded the Capitol. For months now, Trump has had this whole election fraud claims. He's put up 63 lawsuits going to the courts, all presented before judges. Many Republican judges were judges that he put in those seats. Some of these cases went to the Supreme Court, three of which of those seats, he put those judges in the seats. And guess what? 62 of these, these lawsuits were thrown out because of lack of evidence. Some have gone to court where Trump's lawyers himself have been asked by the judges under oath in the court of law if they believe that these are valid fraud claims, over, over, overall fraud claims. And you know what they responded? They didn't think so. These are in court documents. And despite all this, Trump has continued to spread these false claims of election fraud, you know, countrywide fraud, overall fraud. There's no fraud. I'm sure there's cases of fraud here and there that pop up, but he lost by an overwhelming amount. There's not enough cases and overwhelming fraud to make him claim that he thinks he won the election, which he continues to push. He's blamed voting machines. Machines that were used when he was elected to be president. The only fraud that's occurred that's really out there is fraud that he has done. Even last weekend, he made a call to the Georgia Secretary of State, pushing the, the Secretary of State to find enough votes to make him winner of that state. I mean, if this isn't some kind of set up fraud thing, I don't know what is. This is tampering with the election, what he did. If it was any other person, they would have been char charged with a crime. Since he holds the title of the president, which has the stipulation that you can't be charged with crimes while you hold the title, he's exempt from this, being charged with any of these crimes. For now, he knows once his term is over, two weeks, that all bets are off. No more hiding under the title of president. No more. He can be charged with all the crimes he's done this past year and from before. And he knows it. And he's scared. And that's why he's doing everything, everything to try to stay in this office and steal this election. Even calling his supporters to storm the capital of the United States, which hasn't been stormed since the British came. The last time it was, the British had come and erected their flag. Trump supporters stormed it, taking down the American flag and erecting the Trump flag. And as his supporters were doing this, what was Trump doing? He was sitting by watching. He was tweeting. He was continuing to tweet out his election fraud claims and all these false claims, egging on his supporters. All the while, Vice President Pence is being rushed out by the Secret Service and underground bunkers to get him out to safety. Our congressmen are on the ground and Trump is sitting over there tweeting, egging it on. The DC mayor was begging for some kind of help with the police force. They, she was begging to have it approved that the National Guard come in and help stop this. Trump wouldn't approve it. It was only later in the day that Pence approved it. Still, Trump never approved it. I guess finally one of his aides got to him and said, you know, you have to stop this. You have to stop and call your supporters to go home. And he did. He put out his little video where it began saying more election fraud claims. Then he told him these people protesting, storming the capital of the United States to go home. 
And then he ended it with telling these same people that he loved them and they were special people to him. Twitter, Facebook, other social media companies got together and they disabled the president of the United States account. Because with every tweet, he was egging on his supporters for to to take over the Capitol, to take trial by combat like Giuliani said. The president of the United States who took the oath to protect our country, to uphold democracy. He is the very same person that was tweeting, egging on his followers to attack our government. The events yesterday, the people who took part, the people who egged it on and incited this, it's treasonous. And I don't say that term lightly, but it's treasonous. And I know it's no secret I'm not a Trump fan, never have been, and I've been very vocal about this. I knew the days coming for him to get out of office would be pretty dark. Nonetheless, I'm still shocked and horrified by the events. I was shocked by the people who continue to support him and these false claims. For four years, even more, he's been telling them this fake news, don't trust any news, don't trust experts, don't trust scientists. Only trust me and what I say. They've been brainwashed with these ideas that everyone else is against them. They have been indoctrinated with these conspiracy theories in their head. And the only person they can trust is Trump that they think they can. And so whatever he says is like the word of God. Our country needs to heal. It does. But before it can, we have to get rid of the cancer which is infecting it. And that begins with getting rid of Trump. Now, I know we have two weeks left before President-elect Biden's in, but uh, we have, we've seen yesterday, a lot can be done in just a day to harm this country. I hope our leaders, the other officials who have, some have really stood up, Republicans have that I would call heroes that have stood up against Trump and stood up for our democracy and our constitution and our country and the people of our country and stood up to him and have done what is right. And I just hope that they continue to. Our country will be restored. We will, we will do whatever we can to earn the respect of the world once again, to be an example once again. We will get through it. We already have, we've already made changes in our government and our president in our Congress to move forward in a positive direction. But these two weeks are gonna be hard. Until then, I pray. I pray for the safety of everyone here. I pray for the safety of our country. And I pray we'll get through this soon. And God bless America.